Welcome back with an update on La Palma. First of all, looks like the earthquakes are starting to die down. As I only see one that's in the orange, and I can't even tap onto it, so that means it must be a relatively weak one, and everything else is in the yellow. And orange means it happened within the past few hours. Yeah, this is two hours ago. Um, but yeah, anyways, tapping onto this for the update. Um, measurements have been released, so we'll get to that. Um, I'm just going to be going over a lot of updates because this thing is causing a lot of issues. No tsunamis, though. No tsunamis, so don't go there. Anyways, the Vulcanological Institute of Canary Islands in Vulcan revealed the first measurements of... SO2 concentrations in the atmosphere and a lava flow discharge of the current eruption at the La Cumbre Veja volcano that began yesterday. Uh, sulfur dioxide emissions first estimated about amount of sulfur SO2 emissions occurred in the plume reached to a 6,000 to 9,000 tons per day provided by the AMIT Amet, I want to say, the lava flow discharge, um, new measurements were also made to provide new parameters of the lava flow discharge rate. The average lava flow discharge rate at the current eruption site is about 0 0.7 kilometers per, uh, per hour, which is pretty slow. The thermal anomaly According to the Mirova detection system, um, a very high thermal anomaly, 2828MW, was detected in satellite images yesterday, but it decreased to 1509MW today. Um, precautions. Around 5,000 people have been evacuated from the high-risk areas. The, effect, the efforts are focused on reducing inf instructional damage, uh, infrastructural damage. The La Cambria Veja volcano erupted after eight days of intense seismic crisis yesterday afternoon as two eruptive fissures opened in the area of the Montaña Rajada Mountains, accompanied by lava fountains erupting from at least seven individual vents. Um, vigorous lava spattering is seen from the main vent that be have begun to shoot a few meters, a few hundred meters height of height. Uh, there's a video there. Um, Yeah, so with that, it's like, um, but I don't know what they're saying, so if anyone's able to translate, go right on ahead. Um, but we're going to continue on with these updates. Um, so this is not good. Uh, the La Palma volcano surface uh, update surface continues to deform uplift reaches 19 centimeters mm -hmm. that's like that's around eight inches um a scenario of new eruptive fissures opening might n not be that unlikely at all the surface continues to inflate which is a sign that there's more magma that more magma is being stored underground that can erupt er, that erupts at the surface um, the existing paths are not large enough, the volcano might choose to either enlarge them or create new ones. Um, which, something to keep an eye out because you think with it erupting, the uplifting would stop and it might deflate a little, but nope, it's getting worse. So that means that something else is getting ready to happen. Um... And then there's this update. So, La Palma volcano erupt, 
eruption update, lava flows destroy homes, might reach the sea. Um, which, when that happens, the island will grow. Um, and that does not mean tsunami. But it'll mean a lot of steam will be coming up when it re reaches the water and, and instantly boils it. Which could lead to more rain for places like Europe and Africa. And other parts of the Canary Islands. So that is a possibility. Anyways, the eruption in the Cabeza de Vaca area in El Paso municipality continues from at least eight active vents along the two eruptive fissures that opened yesterday at about 200 meters distance from each other. The lava has already entered the, mun the municipality of Los Llanos de Erndain when crossing the LP2 highway and is directed towards the center of La Bombilla and Porto Neos on the coast. A sizable new center cone, typically described as New Volcano, um, has already formed around the main vent. Lava mount fountains continue to shoot many tens of meters into the air from the most active vents. Lava flows continue to advance at an average speed of 700 meters per hour. That would explain the 0.7 kilometers towards the west coast. The flows have already destroyed around 100 homes in the, munis in the municipality of El Paso, according to the first calculations of the civil protection. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, there has only been damage to property. No, fortunately, not un um, but not to people as the advance of the lava is slow enough to allow a managed evacuation and escape. Some 5,000 people have been evacuated from the municipalities of El Paso, Los Llanos de Erdane, and Tazacorte so far, an exclusion zone of 2 kilometers radius around the eruption site has been in place in order to protect people from gases and projectiles. And still, I recommend those in the area to probably have masks on to help keep out any other gases and ash from the lungs. Um, anyways, there is a possibility that the lava reaches the sea, as has happened during other eruptions on La Palma, but it will depend on the, the available magma to erupt and the duration of the eruption. Scientists believe that they will be able to give some first estimates on these after about 48 hours of eruption when the trend of the effusion rate can be estimated. Angel Victor Torres, president of the Canary Islands, explained in an interview the in 48 hours a little earlier they will be able to predict how long the eruption will last of the La Palma volcano. Keep in mind, Iceland has been trying to predict how long the uh, Fagradale eruption is going to last, and it's been going on for about a year and a half now. Um, but anyways, back to La Palma. Um, he also confirmed that for the moment, no more evacuations are foreseen, since as long as the lava flows, well, the lava follows the projected paths down slope, and the eruption doesn't change si significantly. Um, but that doesn't mean you sh those in the area shouldn't have their bags packed and ready to evacuate if need be. Um, anyways, scientists estimate that the available magma volume is between 17 and 20 million cubic meters of magma. According to the president of the, gov of the government of the Canary Islands, Angel Victor Torres, this amount so far exceeds the 11 million cubic meters initially estimated by modeling the deformation uh, observed prior to the eruption. For comparison, this represents less than half the lava erupted during the 1971 T Tenegua eruption, which was 43 million cubic meters. The first estimate of the amount of sulfur dioxide, SO2, 
um, emitted into the atmosphere by the volcanic eruption is of the order of 6,000 to 9,000 tons per day. Lava has already destroyed isolated homes. Um, don't know why you're in your home viewing that, but we'll be viewing both these videos. Live streaming of the eruption. Um, there's that. And then there's this. Seismic activity. The seismic activity on the island of the La Palma continues at lesser intensity and rate than during the um, build-up prior to the eruption. Since midnight, only five quakes above two two mag above a magnitude 2.0 have been recorded so far, and the largest a magnitude three event at 734 a.m. local time. However, the quakes are significant. The eruption can still evolve and new fissures could open up if the current pathways become blocked or or other or other easier ways open up. This scenario may not be very likely, but the quakes in the area suggest that underground magma flow has not stabilized yet. The magma pressure is still breaking rocks to intrude into new dikes. If these propagate to the surface, a new fissure would open and lava could travel in different areas. In addition in addition to a constant strong volcanic tremor signal reflecting the flow of lo magma dominates the seismic recordings. Uh, that's the ash advisory from yesterday. Um, for some reason all this crashed. No one wants you. Again, why are you in your <laughs> No reason. And I'm assuming that's... There we go. Uh, as suspected, more updates from the eruption. So, the La Palma volcano update. Stunning time-lapse volcano video of eruption seen from the Ast Astrophysical Observatory. An impressive time-lapse video has been posted by the Astrophysical Observatory Instituto de Astrophysica de Canarias. Of the first day of the La Cumbre Veja Volcanoes eruption, lava jets surpassed up to a few hundred meters height Stunning time-lapse video of eruption seen from Astrophysical Observatory. I guess we'll go through that. Actually, yeah, let's view it. I don't know why the quality is... Okay, there it is. I'm sure when the sun sets, you'll see the lava a bit better. And as suspected. <laughs> Uh, and again, links will be in the description box below. Stay safe. See you in the next video. Bye.